Hello everybody, welcome to another bucket tutorial. In this tutorial we've got our base plugin already. Let me I just removed last tutorial's stuff. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be using that Minecraft code to set the block in a minecart, which was recently added in 1.5. So let's do that. So um what we wanna do is we wanna have it so when they right click the minecart, it's going to do some magic. But before we do that, let's make a function to um, set block and data. Oops, and data. My God. And this is going to take minecart mc mine minecart or minecart minecart mc as a parameter, as well as the block id because that's the id of the block and the block data, which is also an integer. Just like that. Um, let's import this. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to start off by casting our uh, so uh, craft entity. By the way, you can use reflection to do this, but I'm not going to. You can have a look at some of my reflection tutorials if you want to know how to do that, but we're just going to use net minecraft code. So to get the craft entity, what we need to do is we need to go craft entity minecart. Actually, uh, is it worth it? What we'll do is we'll import this, then we'll put a bracket around this, and we'll go get handle. And then what we need to do is change this to entity minecart abstract. This is basically just the general minecart entity, I think. Well, it doesn't really matter, I don't suppose. Uh, so then what we need to do is we need to, oops, not click and zip. We need to cast all this to entity minecart Just like that, and uh, import that. So yeah, you will need to update this code per version, but you can use stuff like reflection to have different interfaces containing this code. This is the only code which uses net Minecraft. So to start with, on this, we need to go ce dot k, and then we need to put an integer in. You can see it here. So this is our block ID. This is um, obfuscated code, meaning it's going to be junky. And L is block data. Just like that. And we're done. Okay, so we want to add a event handler for when they right click the minecart. So there's a function called player interact entity, entity event. And that's basically when they uh, right click something. So we're going to call this on minecraft click and we're going to implement the player interact entity event e. okay so if e dot get right click and this will get the entity um, and then what we need to do uh, get right clicked instance of minecart if they right click to minecart and what well, we could do with we want we want an easy way that they can put items in a minecart where it doesn't confuse. So what we'll do is we'll say uh, we need to check if they're holding a block. So if e dot get player uh, dot get item in hand because we want to get the high hand item, and we'll get the type. And then, because this is a material, there's an is block method. So if it's a block, and and e dot get player, and we'll check if they're sneaking, because that's the easiest way to do it. If they shift and right click the minecart, it'll put block in it. So now we need to cast this to minecart, because we already know it's a minecart after checking its instance up here. So minecart m equals minecart. And then e dot get right click like that, and then what we can do is we can go set uh, m 
then our block ID is event dot get player. No, no, no. It's e dot get player. I keep getting confused because I always use it. And then we'll get the item in the hand. This isn't going to take it out of the hand. This is just a test plugin, so I I advise doing modifications like taking it out of the hand. Um. So and then we need to get its durability. So we need to just copy that bit and get the durability and that will basically if you've got a certain type of sandstone and then we need to cancel them getting in the minecart or they will ride it you can actually ride minecarts with this in um, it's quite weird oh that's eight that's okay oh, I keep getting confused there click the minecart and we need to import that and there we go so I'll just go open up L Minecraft and this up. Okay, so um, let's just log in. And it's raining, so we'll make it day seven. Okay, so uh, in a tiny bit of lag. I am rendering at the minute because. This is what I usually do when I'm rendering. I make a tutorial. Did I? There's not a lot of people kill. Uh, so now if we shift, there we are. Oh, um, floaty, blocky, okay. And if I don't shift, I can right click and get in. And I'll. Oh, why did I shift click that down? Uh, I'll prove it works because these jungle wood show is jungle wood because it's got a data value if you see that's 17.3 so I hope you enjoyed this video I'll just show you that they replace each other if you shift again some of them render quite weirdly uh, trying to think of fun ones uh, I love it yeah, I don't think I don't think lava renders properly. Which idea lava is that? So if we add eleven, I have eleven. No, you cannot put lot. <laughs> no, you cannot put lava in. Can you put torches? Oh yeah, that's quite cool. Can you put beavers? Uh, no. Uh, I think it has to be a certain type. Uh, I guess to prove chests. Don't open it. It's like a dummy chest cart, I guess. Um. So yeah, that's practically it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you've got any suggestions for the well, that's kind of um, for the next tutorial, please leave them below. Listen. Okay. See you in the next tutorial.